Hello boaters, I'm just off on a short trip. I'm currently a little bit north of Banbury and I'm going up just through a couple of locks, a couple of miles and stopping just before Croperty. So it's just a, a jaunt through the countryside really. Bit of a drab day, but let's go. Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. My name is Phil and at the time of recording this I've lived afloat aboard my narrowboat for nearly 34 years. I share my home with my two cats, Bushka and Midge, and we spend our days travelling around the canal system and making videos. This whole stretch of canal is actually very pretty if you do it at the right time of year. You know, when, when things are nice weather and when things are all growing, it's really lovely along here. It's very isolated. There's no easy road access anywhere, really. Um, and the towpath isn't all that good in places. Up ahead is Borton Lock, with a very isolated little lock house beside it. And of course, both of the locks that I did on this trip were full of water when I approached them, so I had to empty them before I could go through. There was only one working paddle on this lock. The other one there has got yellow tape all over it, as you can see. It was extremely hard to turn it. You get a lot of canoeists and kayakers on this stretch of canal between Banbury and Croperty. There's a really large uh, canoeing club at Croperty and some days there'll be hundreds, literally hundreds of people in canoes whizzing past you.
when you're doing locks solo on your own it's usually easier I find to just pull the boat out on a rope rather than trying to use the engine it's sort of quicker I do find though that I often pull muscles in my lower back so it's not good you might be wondering about this tank of water on my roof in the foreground here it's sloshing around that's like a little outdoor pond that I created last year uh, keep various little pond creatures in there there's nothing in there at the moment apart from pondweed and canal water Right, that's that one done. Let's get going. recently added some cheap little solar garden lights thinking they might light up the back deck quite nicely and they do I just stuck them on and at night they light up and it looks a bit like a cat there's a railway line over to the left it's not too noisy except when the freight trains come through It occurs to me that I've not played any music for a while. For new viewers, um, all of the music that you hear on my channel is all composed and recorded by myself. This little track is called Flutter.
up ahead is Slat Mill Lock and there's very nice little moorings along here. There's not a great deal to say about locks really. I must have boated through thousands in my time on the canal and I'm sure I've covered hundreds of them in my videos um, given descriptions as I'm going through. Basically they get a bit boring after a while. The novelty does wear off and the operation of them is fairly self-explanatory I'm sure. sounds better. It's pretty noisy up there at the front. Now I usually leave the engine on tick over but in gear when I'm going up in a lock and that just keeps the boat pressed gently up against the top gate and stops it thrashing around. Obviously when you let water into the lock you've got to look down and make sure there's nowhere that your bow fender can snag as it comes up. I put the gearbox back into neutral when the lock is about half full. There's no turbulence after that.
So, pulling the boat out of the lock with the rope again. Well, that's the second lock done. Now I'm just going to boat on a bit closer to property and find somewhere nice to moor up. I'm not going into the village today. Uh, we'll stop just south of the village. Over on the left there, the inside curve of this bend is very shallow and you wouldn't believe how many boats run aground trying to go around here. It's so common, if you're moored up near here you'll see them getting stuck all the time. I hope you enjoy my videos. If you'd like to help me make more videos, there's lots of ways you could support me. There's Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, PayPal donations, etc. Unfortunately, I make very little money from advertising on YouTube, so all the help is uh, gratefully received. Anyway, no pressure if you can't, that's all right. Well, this looks like a nice place to stop. It can be very hot here in the summer, and it can also be very windy at times. But apart from that, it's a nice little place. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, because I'll let the cats out in a moment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.